Hi you guys, this feels so weird, Ugh. but it feels so awesome to be talking to you guys again. So I really wanted to create a video about me and the day in the life of me having two girls super close in age if you do not know and you are new here uh hi my name is clarissa aka colors and i have two girls one that is soon to be two and another one that just turned three like two days ago <laughs> they are exactly 12 months apart four days apart in birthdays so i wanted to do a day in the life video which is still going to come but i really wanted to talk about the misconceptions when it comes to having two under two or two babies super close in age because i feel like when you talk to people or, or when people see my kids and they're like always talk about the good parts right they always talk about how cute they are and how they're going to be close friends and how everything's just handed down to them and then they're going to have each other's backs and i just feel like that is the motivation for a lot of people to have kids super close in age but i feel like it is my duty to enlighten you guys on some of the cons and to be honest they are a good amount of them and i wanted to kind of state what those things are and so that if you guys are wondering just about my specific life and how my view of having kids close to age are and plus if you are planning on having kids close to age or maybe you already do and just want to see if you can relate to a couple of these things uh i just wanted to, to make a video about those things because it was weighing it, it's weighing on my spirit so i feel like i need to tell you guys now let me preface this video i do not regret my kids no my second daughter was not planned to have them that close together but obviously i don't regret her at all like duh i love my little noelle but at the same time stuff is hard there's a reality of things and stuff is just not as easy as it may seem in the mama parent community a lot of stuff like to be a little bit sugar-coated in my opinion and make stuff seems a lot easier than what they are so if you want to know what my opinion is on some of the cons or misconceptions that having kids very close in age or two under two situation, please keep on watching. I don't know why I'm a little bit nervous. I'm never usually nervous for this. I think I'm just a little rusty in no particular order. <laughs> don't look like i hate my kids because i really don't i love those stuff all right so one of the things that honestly makes me a little bit sad and slightly emotional when it comes to having my girls very close to age is i feel like when i look back at my pictures of my firstborn nala and i start to reminisce on the times that i spent with her i feel like i don't get to enjoy the little moments with my youngest child before i got to really nurture the development of my oldest kid just experience it more time with her enjoy spending time with her noticing all the small things when you're when you're juggling kids so close to age it can become very overwhelming and i feel like because of that you easily overlook some of the things between both kids because you are being split in half and i noticed that i got to really embrace and enjoy being a mom that kind of makes me a little sad the next thing i can deem kind of like a con when it comes to having too close to age is that you spend twice as much in daycare people they love to talk about when they're older, but we got to get there, people. We got to get there. The oldest one don't get out of daycare until what she's five, basically. Yes, they go into BBK and that gets cheaper, but I'm still paying. At least at my daycare, I still pay for BBK. It's like $175 a week so right now into daycare is $450 a week $450 a week oh my spirit hurts when I say it that is roughly what $1,800 a month I don't even know I try not to calculate because it might help my soul a little bit more it's a lot of money and you gotta be ready to spend it or both of your kids being home and the mental of them being home all day every day at this age I don't think I can do it so whatever they could do at daycare it's worth it for me in the price but it's like jesus it's a lot of money it's twice as expensive and depending on your area where you live at it's it, it could be even more than what i'm spending there's definitely places that are even just slightly better 
than my daycare that is more expensive. Like I remember when they were one and two and we were looking for them being daycare. And at the time, some of the ones that I really loved was like $1,900, $2,000, $2,100, the one I really liked was around $2,000. So you gotta ask yourself, are you prepared to pay that type of money to put them in daycare? And if not, do you think that you are ready to take care of two kids all day, every day, and you either work from home or not work at all? So that is something to take into consideration when having kids close to age. Also, the next thing is getting ready takes twice as long. Jesus. Okay, I feel like in order for us to go somewhere, we have to start preparing like three hours early. I kid you not, because it takes us time to get them ready, time to get us ready, time to get in the car, and time to get the diaper bag ready. So it's like four different areas. And mind you, did they eat yet? That's a whole nother ball game. It takes like 10 minutes to get in the car. That includes buckling them up, making sure that the stroller and everything that should be in the car is there. Tablets are charged. If you're into that thing, we definitely are because tablets is a lifesaver. It kind of helps also too with combating having to carry more stuff because usually before we was taking toys and then that was just a thing to collect the toys and the diaper bag it's just a thing and a lot of times we're still late i mean honestly i was late before but now i'm just like i have a reason to be late it's justified this next one i wrote emotional damage and i just keep thinking about the age emotional damage what i was referring to is the emotional and mental of just having two kids close to age it's a juggling thing right so there's no more how you feel as much it's how they feel and what's gonna make them feel better so if you don't feel like going outside hi you guys so i just wanted to pop in really quickly because it seems like i just couldn't really spit out what i was trying to say so i'm gonna just say it here and then we can go ahead and move forward what i was trying to say is being a parent not only parent of two kids close in age just a parent in general is a test in itself your kids will try you they will wear you down mentally you will be exhausted some days there will be outside factors that just kind of adds to the dilemma and with your kids life kind of goes on you can you have to figure it out to be able to persevere and accomplish just everyday tasks when it comes to your kids there's gonna be times that you don't feel like going outside there's gonna be times that you don't feel like playing there's gonna be times that you just want to relax and sometimes you you might have the opportunity to do that and sometimes you won't and you just have to bite that bullet and just deal with it so if that's something that's even hard for you to do with one kid imagine two kids that are on the same level crying falling on the floor throwing stuff it just could be mentally draining so i just really wanted to put it in perspective because parenting is the hardest job that you will have in your life it is the most rewarding thing you will ever do in your life but it's just simply not easy so it can be taxing on your mental health but you know I know that it's just the face. The next thing I don't think people take into account is that more so if you have two girls that you're gonna be doing two sets of head of hair. Now that kind of plays into you getting out the door. It's very cute in the beginning when the head is small and you're just doing basically a wash and go. You're adding some water and a little bit of product. You scribble and then you take a comb and whatever. But when they start, the hair start getting long and thick and my girls very much both have thick long heads of hair. I swear it takes so long just to do the head. Mind you, I'm a woman too, so I have hair. I gotta do my hair and their hair. Sometimes it takes like a day and a half to two days just to get both their hairs done. If you ain't trying to be doing no hair, girl, you might wanna think twice. This is the one that people love to talk about and to be honest, I don't think this should be a high motivation and having kids close to age. And that is, well, you know, you can pass down this to your youngest one and you don't have to buy a lot of stuff. That's not exactly true. And I'm here to tell you why. Yes, when it comes to like bouncers and toys, bottles and stuff like that. Yes. But where you're not saving in is 
diapers and this kind of plays into another con potentially you are buying twice as much diapers so if you're buying twice as much diapers and wipes because they are both very close in age whatever their saving is is really going to counteract that you're talking about milk in the beginning they both were drinking formula still yes both of them was drinking formula still even if it's like gallons of milk or whatever you're gonna spend it there it's not really justifying the price to want to have kids close to age because most likely your second cat child is always gonna be bigger and grow into those clothes a lot faster than you think they will i swear about time my child became 13 14 months she was already halfway through those clothes the next thing it's not really a con your second child usually develops a lot faster because they are following their oldest sibling right so that means they get out of that baby stage a lot sooner so that can play into like toys they play with they are not as much into the baby toys as long as your oldest one was so that kind of ties into the financial part, right? But again, that kind of helps you, kind of gives you a little bit more of a break, but then you kind of lose out on your baby stage. So that's kind of sad. Another huge, 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 huge part in the misconception having kids close to age is that your house is never clean, I swear to you. And I don't even like swearing, but I promise you, your house doesn't stay clean. Even with one kid, my house wasn't clean. I ain't going to hold you, it wasn't. Now with two, I swear, when you're putting something up behind this kid, this other kid is taking it and dumping it right back out. And I'm trying so hard, which is another side note. If you have any tips, tricks, remedies, or whatever for getting your kids to stop throwing stuff, I swear I watch the videos, I do. I research it and doing the whole throwaway bowl and this and that, it don't work, okay? It don't work. And I don't know how to get them to stop throwing stuff on the floor and it's stressing me out. I try to communicate with them, I try to talk to them, don't do this, put this back, hey, you do this, you do that, and then they fall on the floor and then it's like 10 minutes later, you know what, you got it. You got it. So if you have any pointers, tips, advice, whatever please comment down below another thing that i feel like people do don't address when it comes to having kids close to age is that they don't play with each other as much as you think it takes time to get to that point yes they do but typically they kind of do their own thing you know what i'm saying at least my kids do people love to say that they can play with each other and then you relax <laughs> maybe you might get a good 20 minutes possibly but nine times out of ten they ain't playing with each other you yell at this person what are you doing what you got in your hand this one snatching from that one that one hitting this one it's just a little more chaotic like they always want to be around each other but they have small moments actually playing with each other unless they both have their tablet they're in their lane next to each other then they're cool it might take time for them to actually mesh together for them to be super close oh one another major thing that I feel like people don't talk about is that the hospital bills are back to back. So if you don't have good insurance or if your hospital bill is expensive, which most of the time that it is, most of the time people, from my understanding, is at least $5,000 and up. So if you have kids back to back and you didn't pay off this one and you got another one, that's at least $10,000 right there in the year back to back. You know, most of us live in paycheck to paycheck. Who got time for that? Especially you got anesthesia. That anesthesiologist is going to bill you separately. Another thing that could be hard when it comes to making the decision of having kids close to age is that it's harder to get babysitters, right? Now, if you just have a, a ton of family that's just able and willing to take care of your kids, God bless you. But most of the times it's harder, in my experience, to find someone who are willing to watch two young kids together. It's easier when they're a little bit older or you have one younger and one older and one more independent. But when you have kids close to age that are younger, it's harder to get someone to be like, hey, can you watch two babies where they have to change two diapers? And, you know, it's a little bit more even uncomfortable to ask for that unless it is a grandparent or something like that. So, yeah, that's just something to consider as well. But the very last thing I want to mention and I think is a very important 
important one out of out of anything that I have said in this whole video. I think something to really be hyper aware of. It's very stressful on your relationship. Both of you guys are tired, right? And both of you guys are wearing a little bit thin of balancing what you gotta do what your household got to do balancing both babies intimacy is hard sometimes that's just a lot your relationship goes to the wayside and then next thing you know time has gone by you realize you haven't really really checked in on your person we fight more than we have before so we try our best to constantly have check-ins and say how we feeling what what do we need from each other how can we help if there's somebody that's a little bit more down than the other one we just kind of cater to who's ever losing that battle a little bit more. It's just a lot, okay, as you can see, and it can really strain you guys, and sometimes it does break people up. Just protect your peace, protect your mental health, and do what you can to love on your person a little bit harder. But I believe that is gonna be all. I also wanna say, again, I love my kids. My pros make it worth it to bear the cons, but I just wanted to make sure I talk to you guys and kind of put out the information of what it looks like in reality to balance kids super close to age. That being said, would I purposely make the decision to have two girls close in age probably not but life doesn't happen the way that we want it and in some ways i know that the mommy fog is going to kick in and once they do get older and they're in school i'm going to love and appreciate their age gap and how they're super close and what that looks like as they start developing individually in their personalities i know that I'm, I'm not going to remember these moments as much and going to enjoy and love how close to age they are yeah i think that's gonna be all for this video i definitely love you guys if you guys have any questions or just want to have some conversation or just talk about some of the things i talked about in this video please comment that down below i definitely love you guys and i will see you guys in the next video peace